Imagine observing yourself in a mirror that not only reflects light, but also time itself not at your face, but instead into the infancy of the universe, when life was still wrapping around itself, around its first breath. Exactly that is what the James Webb Space Telescope was designed to perform. Its objective was to decipher the earliest chapters of cosmic history to reveal what the universe looked like when it was still young, still forming. But what Webb found, when it looked deeper than anything humans had ever experienced, was not the gentle infancy we expected. It wasn't the cradle of the universe. It was a contradiction, a cosmic impossibility. Webb's revelations astonished astronomers, challenged cosmologists, and shook the foundation of modern physics. For decades, the universe was believed to proceed in a clear, logical timetable, the Big Bang, a dark age, then the slow birth of stars, planets, and eventually galaxies. The more we looked back, the simpler things should have appeared luminous hydrogen clouds, scattered particles, chaotic, unformed space. But when Webb turned its golden mirrors toward a remote, supposedly empty sector, it captured something from the sky that should never have existed at that time, a galaxy that was fully developed. Not a faint smudge, not a scattered cloud of gas, but a complex rotating system of stars complete with spiral arms and a supermassive black hole at its core. This galaxy wasn't just formed, it was thriving. And it wasn't alone. As Webb's observations continued, more galaxies emerged from that primordial darkness chemically mature, fully structured, and stable under gravity. It seemed as though the cosmic clock had sped forward, skipping billions of years of sluggish progress and landing in a period of impossible maturity. And with each discovery came a question that resonated louder and louder across scientific circles. What if everything we believed about the universe's beginnings was incorrect? When this was first captured by the telescope a galaxy over 13 billion light years away, astronomers expected a faint, almost indistinguishable smear of light. Instead, they found architectural elegance, spiral arms wrapped with dense stars, starlight ribbons harmoniously orbiting clusters, a glowing energetic core with a pulsating center. This galaxy wasn't forming, it was fully formed. Surprisingly, it appeared as though it belonged to a universe billions of years older. To understand why this is so confounding, consider how galaxies are believed to change. In the early universe, matter was thin and dispersed, but eventually gravity pulled it together into shattered clouds that formed stars. Those stars then clustered into galaxies over hundreds of millions, even billions of years. But what Webb observed suggested that this procedure had already been completed at impossible speed. These galaxies had not only taken shape, they had thrived. It was like finding a fully grown ancient redwood tree sprouting from freshly planted soil. And it wasn't a one-off. Webb's observations uncovered multiple examples spread out across the sky, each exhibiting a level of organization, complexity, and maturity that defied the rules of astrophysics. The telescope was working perfectly. It was our understanding of cosmic timelines that wasn't. When spectral data, the light fingerprints revealing chemical makeup was analyzed, the findings grew even stranger. There were elements in these galaxies that shouldn't exist yet. Carbon, oxygen, iron. These are forged in massive stars and released only generations later through stellar birth and death. Yet, these galaxies less than 400 million years old bore evidence of multiple cycles of stellar life. The early universe wasn't slowly awakening. It was sprinting, forging, exploding, and recycling itself in ways nobody anticipated. Additionally, the presence of these elements suggests something profound. The raw substances for planets, their atmospheres, and perhaps even life, existed far earlier than we anticipated. Discovering them so soon is akin to finding a thriving coral reef at the base of an active volcano yesterday. Not only were the timelines quick, they were shattered. Then came the ultimate shock. The early universe, it was cosmologically absurd. Black holes are thought to grow gradually, accumulating mass over thousands of years. How could one so colossal exist less than 400 millennia after the Big Bang? 
It was as though an adult human had been born fully grown just an hour ago. The gravitational effects were undeniable. Nearby stars rotated in flawless orbits. Energy radiated from the center. Space itself warped around it. Scientists were forced to propose radical theories, primordial black holes, unknown particles, exotic mechanisms, or processes that could accelerate growth. These weren't tweaks, they were new blueprints for reality itself. Confronted by a universe that defies all rules, cosmologists are now being forced to rewrite the book on cosmic evolution. We are not seeing anomalies on the web, it's revealing a cosmos that behaves in reverse, where complexity precedes simplicity, where mature structures emerge from infancy in defiance of expectation. Some theorists propose that dark matter, long thought passive, may have acted as a cosmic scaffold, accelerating early galaxy formation. Others wonder if time itself flowed differently in the very beginning, warped and stretched in ways we cannot yet detect, enabling cosmic evolution to pass in what to us seems like mere flashes. The most radical idea is that perhaps the early universe was never quite like today. This complexity could be a starting point, not a destination. Even as more observations were made, strange patterns were discovered. Using deep learning algorithms, astronomers found mathematical ratios eerily similar to the golden spiral. The distribution of galaxies, the shape of spiral arms, and even orbital distances all suggested a hidden geometry that covers billions of light years. The universe itself appeared to follow fractal logic as though created with intention rather than mere chance, a deeper law's fingerprints woven into spacetime itself. Webb's discoveries went beyond black holes and galaxies. In what appears to be an empty interstellar void, the telescope detected complex organic molecules, polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons and amino acids, the building blocks of life itself. These molecules didn't just exist on planets or in stars. They drifted freely for more than 13 billion years. Life, it seemed, was not an accident. It was written into the cosmos from the very beginning. Then came one of Webb's most astonishing images, six galaxies arranged like petals around a central object, rotating in near-perfect harmony, forming a structure scientists now call the flower. No natural model can reproduce its precision. Was it chance, gravitational coincidence, quantum traces of the initial turbulence, or something else? A cosmic message, a structure embedded intentionally for observers who want to find us. Last but not least, the most bizarre theory emerged. The universe itself may respond to observation. Known in quantum mechanics as the observer effect, this principle suggests measurement alters outcomes. But what if it extends to cosmic scales? What if, when we constructed Webb and looked into the earliest universe, we didn't just observe, we awakened it? Some images appear to subtly shift over time as if reality itself reacts to our gaze. If true, we are no longer passive explorers. We are co-authors of the universe, participants in a cosmic dialogue spanning billions of years. The James Webb Space Telescope didn't merely reveal galaxies, black holes, or cosmic dust. It revealed truth, a truth so vast, so ancient, and so intricately woven that witnessing it feels like standing beneath the scaffolding of reality itself. Galaxies to mature, chemistry to advanced, structures to precise, signals that appear aware, the entire world may be conscious of our curiosity. Maybe it's responding. Maybe, for the first time, the cosmos whispered back, not in sound or language, but in light, formation, and cosmic coherence. Therefore, the question is not, what did Webb see? The real question is, what saw Webb? And as the data continue to flow, the answer may be closer than we think. If this left you awestruck, if the patterns felt to perfect, the timing to exact, and the revelations to synchronize to be random, you are not alone. Keep up with us, because we are not just watching the stars, we are watching their response. Turn on notifications, the next cosmic signal may already be arriving. Share this with someone who still believes there is silence everywhere and comment below. What do you think Webb saw, or perhaps woke up?